I wanted to talk about my hair. Um, yes, I did a big chop. I did a big chop probably about, I want to say probably about a week ago, I did a big chop. And I was really nervous. Um, I, this is probably like my third time going natural. Um, just before, I just haven't had um, that good of luck. <laughs> um, but I decided to just go ahead and chop it all off. Um, because I just basically wanted, I was tired of transitioning. I have been transitioning for about nine, ten months, I would say. Um, I was going to try to wait until my natural hair got to like right here. Um, but. I was just tired of it. Um, the reason why I was going to wait is because this is the shortest I've ever had my hair. And I know a lot of people say, well, I don't know how I'm going to look with short hair. And then other people were like, well, just do it. Just go for it. But I was really scared because I've always had, I've, I haven't had like long hair. But for the most part, my hair has been between shoulder length and armpit length like my whole life. So, it was really difficult for me to just be like, okay, I'm going to, like, just chop my hair off. Um, and I did have obstacles from people around me. I won't say that it was easy. Um, certain people that are close to me weren't and aren't necessarily on the whole natural train with me so it's very difficult um if you have any questions about anything like that like dealing with people telling you not to do it even though it's something that you really want to do let me know if you want me to um talk about that in a video um i didn't know if that was something that i needed to go in depth about but definitely let me know um, because it was not easy and I know I had to have a lot of encouragement from other people on YouTube so I would be more than welcome to help anybody I will say it's it was a really really good decision a lot of people say like oh it's the best decision I've ever made in my life I won't necessarily say that because it is a struggle and some days I do wish that I you know still have my longer hair because you know that whole learning curve is really really difficult but I will say that this kind of sounds weird like I don't regret doing it but sometimes but some days I miss my um, long hair so um yeah if I could take it back I wouldn't I would still do it all over again but it's really difficult um let me see a couple of challenges of uh, getting a regimen down pat I've I big chopped my hair probably about going on two weeks now and getting a regimen for the past two weeks has been really hard products has been really hard and I know a lot of people say that, um, sorry, I know a lot of people say that products isn't what makes your hair grow. And it's not a, that, it's not that I'm struggling with products that are going to make my hair grow. I'm struggling with products that are going to make my hair look the way I want it to look. Because, um, it is true that you have to find out what works out for you. Because I have watched videos upon videos on YouTube. I've read countless blogs, um. I've talked to people that I know personally in my life that are natural, asked them what they've used, and it seems like none of that stuff has been working for me. So it's like, it's really difficult for me to try to find out what is working for me. So every week, not every week, but every couple of days, because I'm starting to wash my hair um, every two or three days. And that's, this is not a regimen video at all, because I don't have a regimen right now, I'm just going with the flow trying to figure out my hair but definitely um soon I will once I get my regimen down packed I will definitely do a regimen and a products video for you guys but 
it's just been hard trying to figure out day to day how to style my hair what's gonna make my hair look how i want it to look what's gonna not what's gonna reduce the frizz but not make my hair crunchy what's gonna you know moisturize my hair at the same time but define my curls so um i have tried i feel like i've tried almost everything so I'm like, oh, really, really frustrated right now. And then I feel like I started my big chop at the awkward phase because I heard a lot of people talk about the in-between where you don't have like a full afro, but you don't really have a TWA. I don't know if this is considered a TWA. I don't really know. Um, but I feel like this is where I started my journey. So that's another struggle because not only am I in that in-between awkward growing phase, I don't know what I'm doing so um this is my first time ever being completely natural I have been relaxed since I was like seven or eight years old so this is my first time ever doing my own hair completely natural so it's really 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 hard for me and um I'm just helping my hair hoping my hair will bear with me so that I can get some sort of regimen going and um hopefully see some progress uh, what's another thing I wanted to say? I don't know, that's it. Oh, I will be doing, um, video, uh, videos. I will be doing an, another video with, um, my pictures from when I was relaxed and through my transition. And then, um, this is how it looks now. And like I said, I big chopped two weeks ago. So this is actually like two weeks newly natural so um yeah so stay tuned for that video if you want to see that i just want to come on and quickly do my even though it's not like right after my big chop it's still like two weeks so it's like fresh to me so i just want to go come on here and just do document my initial thoughts and frustrations with uh big chopping and being natural so at the end i will add some um at the end of this video i will add some pictures so that you guys can see my hair better this lighting is kind of weird and it's kind of making my hair look weird so yeah what i have on my hair right now is just conditioner um that's it all I have in my hair is just conditioner. The conditioner I have on is the Aussie Moist. So my hair is not really like defined or anything. And it's still uh, damp. Because I did wash my hair this morning. So yeah. Um, feel free to add any suggestions or products um, in the bottom bar that you feel like I should try out. That are really good for this stage. I don't really know how to type my hair yet. I don't really know if people still do that. I don't know. But this is my... Uh, curl I don't know it's really frizzy so yeah but I'll add pictures so you guys can see um what it looks like so yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you later bye